Hey guys, welcome back to Empty Paradise's Cars and Collectibles. So today's video, as you saw with the title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be opening up 60 Hot Wheels. And yes, these are actual carded Hot Wheels, just like these two right here. We got the R34 Nissan Skyline GTR Godzilla. And I know a lot of you are gonna hate me for this, but at the same time, this one actually has like a crease going right across here. So it's like, yeah, it's not in perfect condition. And I do want to race it on my Hot Wheels six lane raceway. So that's why I am sacrificing this one. This right here is actually in like perfect condition. Um, all the ones I got were absolutely like flawless. So I do want to have one of these to race. So yes, my old self would be mad at myself for opening this, but this is going to be honestly worth it because in the future I'm going to do a big race series. I'm going to run a bunch of different cars on the track, do like a big tournament setup, and then we we'll do a bunch of like tournaments in the future. So I'm opening all of these because of that. Also, I get cars like this uh, McLaren Senna from this beautiful set right here. However, once I got home, I realized that the uh, the packaging is completely cracked and completely wide open. So cars, there's other cars where I got cases and this is exactly how they came in. Uh, this is one of those examples. You can see the card right there is all mangled. So at that point, it's like, eh, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this open and be able to use it. Also, Hot Wheels does have the mail-in cars. So whenever you get uh, certain stores, we'll have like the promo going on. So whenever you buy stuff from the stores, so a lot of these are actually cars I did recently purchase from Target. I did purchase them damaged. There's a couple that have like cracked blisters, stuff like that. A lot of people to them it's worthless. For me, I knew I was gonna be opening it up to be able to do the promotion to get the mail-in car. So a lot of these are actually those cars. So I'm gonna open up all these cars in the video and they're gonna be absolutely amazing. But honestly, let's go ahead and start off with that Nissan Skyline GTR. And honestly, this breaks my heart to do it, but here we go. Oh man. But honestly, that car looks absolutely incredible. The attention to detail on the back, the car looks so good. Yeah, I'm kind of like upset at myself for opening this up, but at the same time, now I at least have this really awesome car to be able to race. This one, like I said before, was nothing wrong with it, so it kind of breaks my heart to open it up. But, but here we go. Wow, honestly, this looks even better out of the package. I mean, that looks absolutely incredible. So now what we could even do is take both of these run them head to head on the track or even take a bunch of other Japanese cars. Um, but yeah, that's just the beginning of this crazy Hot Wheel opening video. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start opening these cars. Like this one, like I said, the blister was completely destroyed. So, but that McLaren Senna in that color looks beautiful. We have the Pagani Zonda R, which looks really good in that dark blue. And I'm just gonna go down the line and just start opening them up one after the other. All right, pretty interesting Camaro. Got that giant wing there on the back. Got a Fast and the Furious Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Looks pretty cool. Uh, 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock. We have the Ford Sienna Cosworth. Ooh, that looks pretty cool, especially with the designs up on top. And we have the Dodge Viper RT10. Actually shift all of these over a little bit. This whole thing's gonna get real full real quick. Uh, 
Uh, so you got the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. The 2017 Pagani Huayra Roadster. This one we have the Pinot for autom Automobili Pinot Farina Batista. Looks really cool, especially with all those little decals on it. And then we have the 71 Plymouth GTX. That's a big car right there. <laughs> and we have a Nissan Maxima drift car. Which is a wagon there. Looks really cool. Got the exposed engine right there. Got some cool designs up on the roof. You have the 2023 Nissan Z in a nice blue. You have the Mazda 787B. And this is actually really cool because this one looks like a really awesome race car. And it has like that wing that sticks way out there in the back, which looks amazing. And it's actually die cast. A lot of times you see a wing like that and it's actually just plastic. But that car looks absolutely amazing. Actually, let's move that to the front. And this car is actually brand new for 2023. It's the BMW 507. Like an old school BMW there. And then we have a Honda Civic Custom. It actually has like really tiny back wheels, huge front wheels. It's a bunch of other designs and stuff on it. So that's pretty cool. And we have the McLaren Elva, which is the no windshield open top race car. So that'll be really cool to see on the six lane raceway going against some of these other cars. Oh, one of my favorite cars. Honestly, this one is in perfect condition, but I really wanted to be able to have one to race on the racetrack. So this is the Back to the Future DeLorean, the Back to the Future Time Machine. Oh, it really breaks my heart to open this up, but that car looks absolutely amazing. The attention to detail looks incredible, and I'm really excited to be able to run that on the track. Let me just swap it out here with the Camaro so we have that right up front looking good. We have the 84 Pontiac Firebird. Looks really good. I really like that color. And this is actually an older car that I've had sitting around. And I do have a bunch of these. So maybe at some point I can do something cool and link them all together. But it is the Loopster. It's actually like a little roller coaster car. And you can see in the front and in the back they hook together so that'd be kind of cool to maybe hook a bunch of those together and do like some kind of a track thing with it but next we have a 67 oldsmobile 442 and this is actually a golf livery car which looks really good it's also huge <laughs> and then we have a 84 mustang svo which is the old school Fox body Mustang. And then we have the brand new for 2023, the Tesla Model Y. Finished in a nice dark gray. And we have a, another Pagani Zonda R. This one's actually finished in white, so it makes all the Little details stand out, especially the little Pagani there in the wing. Oh, this car, um, very minimal damage, but I really wanted to see how it would race. But we have the Peanuts Snoopy, and it's Snoopy sitting on top of his little doghouse. And if you guys have seen Charlie Brown, you know exactly what that is. But that is absolutely awesome that Hot Wheels made it. Like a little car, even like the base is green, like as if it's like the grass. So that would be kind of cool to run that on the track. And 
And then we have the 32 Ford with the golf livery. This is actually a car that was recently a super treasure hunt. Even has a little golf logo right there. We have the Mustang NHRA funny car. This is an absolutely huge Hot Wheel. And wow, look how big that thing is. And it's obviously like a race car, like a drag car. So that would be kind of cool to throw that on the track and run that. But wow, the thing's huge. We have the 84 Audi Sport Quattro. And this one looks really good in black with the gold and red details there on the side. And we have the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. We have seen this in a few different colors recently. This one is finished in white with the like little red design there on the side. Also, they got like another like race car set up. So that'd be kind of cool to do a race with just all the cars that look like they're built for racing. But next we got the uh, 1989 Mazda Savannah RX-7. And this one's finished in a really cool green. Like you think that a color like that would be like on a Lamborghini or something like that. But it looks really good there on that Mazda. Uh, this one is honestly in great condition as well. But I really wanted to be able to open it. It's a very beautiful, the 992 body style, Porsche 911 GT3. So I wanted to put this on the track with some other Porsches that I have and be able to race it. It looks really good with the gold wheels. Got the black stripes there in the top. Got the big wing on the back. That looks absolutely incredible. And we have the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. And the Avant is the wagon, if you weren't aware but it looks really good that nice dark green <coughs> we have the 62 Corvette gasser let me get this out of here looks really cool with like the color scheme there at the red with all the white accents and whatnot And then this is just a generic car. I wanted to see how it would work on the track, but it is the Ice Shredder. And it's pretty much kind of like a luge or like a bobsled type thing. And it has like, th actually has four little people in there. So it's actually really cool. It has these little itty bitty wheels. So I'm curious if those will actually do well on the track. It's also very skinny compared to most of the other Hot Wheels. And the entire bottom, all that blue is all metal. And actually the entire top is metal. So the only thing that's plastic is the wheels and the people. So I'm really curious to see how this runs on the track. That's why I wanted to open it in this video. So that in the future we can start running that. We have the quick bite. And this theme is, it's like a food truck. Uh, we did previously see it as a treasure hunt, but this one is a uh, hot chicken. It's like a little chicken food truck, which looks really cool. And I do sometimes do races with like random cars. So it'll be kind of cool to run this, maybe a few other like wild cars. Maybe like this, the Snoopy, the little uh, Loopster, and the little bobsled, stuff like that, where they're not really like traditional cars, but we can at least run them on the track and see which one's fastest. But let's get back to it. We got a Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. This one is in a really nice red color. And it does have black stripes down the hood, which looks really good there. You have the custom Ford Maverick. This is finished in a like, beautiful teal color. Which looks really good and has a bunch of little decals on it as well. And then the Audi uh, 1990 Quattro. This looks really cool. It's like a little rally race car thing. Got the number on the hood, got all the decals all over it. And then we have the 1989 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. <laughs> this is one that has a really big name, but it looks really cool. Got the Mercedes-Benz logo there in the front. Got some more details there on the back. 
This thing's also a very heavy car, so I'm curious to see how that does on the track as well. But we've got another Audi. We got the brand new Audi RS e-tron GT. So this car just came out in real life. A lot of dealerships actually saw uh, yesterday and this morning some postings of the brand new ones in real life. So that looks really cool. All right, so next we have this Aston Martin Vantage GTE. And once again, we got another car with that beautiful Golf Oil Racing livery on it, which looks really cool. I like that black bottom there with all that orange. And then obviously the Golf logos there on it as well. Giant wing in the back. That's a really cool car. And then we have the Cool Combi. This one's actually finished with a really cool Moon Eyes themed. We did recently see this in yellow, but this is a matte gray version, which looks really cool. It's essentially a kind of like a tuned, squished little mini Volkswagen bus, which looks really cool. Drag set up with like a little wheelie bar there in the back. And then we have a Lucid Air. This is a um, electric car in real life. So they're kind of cool looking. Not a huge fan of them, but they are pretty cool cars. We have the BMW i8 Roadster. Looks really cool there. And the Rimac Nevera. This is a brand new casting for 2023. And it is a crazy car in real life. Got that giant wing there in the back. Crazy proportions. Really cool styling as well. And then we have a Hot Wheel Arts car. It's the 68 Copo Camaro. And this one actually looks really cool. It has like that comic book kind of theme on it right there. And then even on like the roof, this thing looks so cool. Got two different colored wheels there. And then we have the, I don't even know how to say this. Lotus Evigia, Evia. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know how, how you go about saying that, but the car looks absolutely amazing. So ever since this came out, I've been wanting to open one up. They did make a super treasure hunt version of this car, but wow, the color looks good. The body lines, the shape, everything about that looks so good. And now we have a Renault Sports RS01. And a lot of people don't know what Renault is. It's actually a big brand in Europe. And this one is a crazy race car. It already has some uh, paint issues right there on the roof. That's kind of interesting. Um, but it's a really cool casting. I'm excited to run that on the racetrack. And then we have the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This is a red on red, so red car, red wheels. Got some black accents on there, which look really good. So that'll also be like a nice car to run on the track. We have another Lotus, and this one is the Lotus Amira. So it actually has a very easily pronounceable name. <laughs> uh, it also looks really cool. The other one's actually all electric. This is still a gas car. And then it has like that matte roof there. But it looks pretty good. And then we have the DMC DeLorean. It actually has a cracked blister, so that's honestly why this is being opened up. Uh, I was going to keep it original, but as you can see, there's a giant crack right there. But this looks so good. They made it almost like in this metallic kind of blue color with that black stripe with blue border on it, gold wheels, stripes down the side as well. That looks absolutely amazing. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to open this one too. And the package was damaged. So next we got the Mario Kart Standard Kart. This is from the Screen Time series. And I've been wanting to see how this Mario Kart actually runs on the track compared to some of the other cars that I have. They do sell these separately with a uh, 
It has like a little Mario sitting in it, like a little plastic figure. But this one is a regular standalone Hot Wheel mainline. So I'm kind of curious how that is going to run. Uh, the tires are really big and it's actually has some good weight to it. And then we have the classic TV series Batmobile. This is also kind of like a tuned version of it. So it's kind of like that cartoon styling. And I did want to open the one that looked really cool. They made this in a bunch of different colors. One, there's like a black, dark blue, um, like a maroon. But I thought this one looked really cool, so I wanted to open up that. But it has like that neon kind of glow-in-the-dark look to it. So I thought that was going to be cool to take this one and open it up compared to like the other styles. And then we have the classic TV series Batmobile, the regular version or like the original. And that's the original coloring as well. So that looks pretty cool there. So you guys can kind of see like the uh, proportion difference <laughs> and how crazy these are. It's literally the same car. You just have the cartoon version and then like the real version. So that'd be kind of cool to race these head to head and see which one's fastest. And then we have Batman, it's another Batmobile. And this one, I was actually kind of curious if it was even going to fit on the track because the front end is so wide. But the entire top of that thing is super heavy and it kind of has like that bat head look on the front and that giant fin there in the back. So this car's proportions are insane. So I'm kind of excited to race this one as well. And we did run out of room up here. But let me just kind of squish some stuff together. We have uh, Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. And this one just came out. And it's in a like kind of all, it's like purple on purple on purple. Purple car, purple stripes, purple wheels. This thing looks incredible. Um, also very sleek and streamlined. So I'm really curious how that's going to run as well. Let me just kind of shove this onto here. And then we have, it just says Batmobile. I don't know exactly what movie show series this is from. But it's the more like that modern kind of style Batmobile. And then it has like the jet thruster thing there in the back, the afterburner. And then like that jet intake on the front. So that looks really cool and it has like the orange stripes and stuff on it. So... And all these are actually really huge. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to run on the track. Also has a plastic body with a metal base. So that's a little interesting. And then the very last car out of this whole Hot Wheel opening is the Batman Forever Batmobile. This just came out in 2023 as well. So I'm going to go and open this. So a lot of the body is plastic. Actually, a lot of the body is metal, and there is plastic body panels as well. But this one looks really cool. It has a giant fin there in the back, the two smaller ones, the afterburner there in the back. This thing looks absolutely crazy. It has this little vents there on the side and up on top. But, wow, this car looks incredible. But that right there is car number 60. I just literally opened up 60 Hot Wheels and getting all these ready to be able to run on the racetrack and this is absolutely incredible uh this is a little heartbreaking for me to be able to open up all these hot wheels uh technically if like before like the price spike went up uh this is over 60 dollars worth of hot wheels with now's conversion it's probably like 75 80 dollars worth of hot wheels since they are like a dollar 19 or a dollar 25 at some places but Wow, this is a lot of cars, a lot of excitement, and a lot more videos coming, a lot more uh, race series, uh, tournaments, stuff like that. So definitely hit that subscribe button, stay tuned. If you guys like this video, definitely hit that like button. And as you can see, I have a lot of Hot Wheels Amazon black boxes. In these cases, I actually do like unboxing videos. So if you haven't already seen those and you want to see them, go check them out. They're all over my channel. And I have like a really cool display thing here. There's going to be links in the description down below so you guys can pick up a display or you guys can get an Amazon black box because you do have a chance at a super treasure hunt. Some of these cars, actually I think a couple of them came from an Amazon black box. 
Uh, sometimes you get a cracked blister or a bent card or something like that. Whenever you buy cases, that is the risk, but the risk has reward. I'm going to race these in future videos, so definitely subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it, but as always, thank you for watching.